everyone. This is Lena again from Pen Boutique. Today I'm here with the two popular lines of sailor writing instruments. One is 1911, the other one is Pro Gear. And often asked, or I would say confusion between two lines, what's the differences and what's the similarity on those two lines. So I will do my best to give you some information among those uh, in the two lines and the different section of it. Uh, so let's take a look one by one. So the first, we have 1911. The sailor pen is founded in 1911 in Japan, so the, hence the name is. But this one is 1911 King of Pen. It's pretty huge, large. It's rounded top and rounded bottom, so it looks like a torpedo or cigar. And this one here is the uh, Pro Gear King of, King of Pen. Between these two, actually, pretty much all similar except the size of the length because of their shape of it. The 1911 is more rounded, uh, Pro Gear is more flat, top and bottom. So when you compare between these two, standing each other, you will find Pro Gear King of Pen a little shorter than the 1911. The both has exact same attributes and um, characteristics. For example, both of them has 21 karat gold nib, and both take standard cartridge and converters. Uh, both has screw cap in the front, and it posts pretty good in the back. When you do both, it's secure push cap in the back for posting it. It's pretty huge pen, so this is a great for larger hand. For my hand, uh, it's okay, but I prefer without the cap in the back for my better balance. But for the people who has a larger hand, they would prefer cap in the back for better, better balance to write with. The other thing is, I would say, the difference actually. Um, this has a very traditional look, the 1911 King of Pen very traditional, but in a pro gear, it's more contemporary, but yet uh, unique and traditional. The shape, the size, and the nibs, nib section on these both are available only two different point sizes, only medium and broad. So both are available medium and broad. Like I said earlier, 21 karat gold nib, takes cartridge converter both, screw top, screw front, and then cap post in the back for posting. So this is the king of pen, both. The difference is flat and the rounded top and the bottom. And the size is, one is taller than the other. Here is 1911 large transparent fountain pen, rounded top and rounded bottom and I'm comparing with the Pro Gear standard. Both are same, there's not much difference besides the shape and the length. Both are screw cap, cap post in the back, both are cluster converter, and both has 21 karat gold. The only one other thing is great about these, these are available in all seven different sizes. Sailor offers all several different point sizes from extra fine to zoom. Extra fine, fine, medium, medium, fine, broad, zoom, and music. So there is a variety of, um, you know, names available for everyone out there. The last one is the uh, 1911 standard and a pro gear sling. These are similar thing, rounded top and rounded bottom, flat top and bottom. When you stand two side by side, you can see one is shorter than the other. This is considered as a smaller pen, but it's not as small as tiny mini. It's a standard size. It's, uh, it's good for standard hands. But if you, have, if you have prefer larger, then obviously 1911 large or Pro Gear Standard or King of Pen to go for. Uh, these are the uh, nibs are only 14 karat gold nib, but nibs available all seven different sizes from extra fine to zoom. So these are also available in all different point sizes. So basically, um, 
these two lines, 1911 and Progier. The king of pen to remember is only medium in uh, broad nib sizes. Uh, nibs are 21 carat. Uh, 1911 large and the king of uh, large and the Progier standard is 21 carat nib, but it's available all seven different point sizes. And the standard and the mini, 1911 <laughs> standard and the Progier mini, oh my God, my tongues are going twisting everywhere. These are available in 14 carat, but available in all seven sizes. So that's the beauty of cellar writing instruments. Um, as all of you know, whoever owns cellar writing instruments, I don't have to sing about it. You guys already know it. I mean, in a sailor is king of their um, nibs. Uh, their heart and soul is their nibs. I mean, their writing instruments are so smooth and so great. So I don't really have to say anything much about it. Next, I know there is a lot of people do ask, what's the size, um, you know, difference among those uh, six writing instruments while posting the cap in the back or closed cap or diameter. So I'm going to do that next and show you what's the sizes and difference on all those six different lines of cello writing instruments under 1911 and Pro Gear. Now, let's take a tour uh, between the cello 1911 versus professional gear, the length and the size of each of them. Length means when you close or posting cap in the back. So this one here I have in my hand is 1911 um, King of Pen. So when you have this, uh, when you have the cap posted in the back, which is 6.5 inch, when you close, it will be 5.98 inch and the grip diameter is 0 0.49 for King of Pen 1911. The second I have here is 1911 large. When it is closed, it is 5.54 inch. When it is open and cap is back posted, that is 6.04 inch. And the diameter for the grip is 0 0.42 inch. The third one that I have here is a standard um, 1911. When it's cap posted in the back, which is 5.8 inch. When it is closed, 5.3 inch and the diameter of the grip is 0 0.38. Next I have the uh, Pro Gear Kina Pen. So this is, reminds me of uh, <laughs> Parker Dorfall. Um, this is very contemporary look yet it's very traditional and very um, modern and nice look to it. Um, on this one for the length, when it is cap back posted, is 6.33 inch. When it is closed, 5.8 inch. And the grip is similar to the 1911 King of Ham, that is 0 0.49 inch. The second I have here is a Pro Gear Standard. And when it is open, cap posted in the back, is 5.8 inch. And when you're closed cap, that is 5.06 inch. And the grip diameter on this one is 0 0.42 inch. And the last one is the slim pro gear. When the cap is back posted, it's 5.59 inch. When it is closed, 5.85 inch. And the grip diameter on this one is 0 0.38 inch. Hopefully, this information is helpful and helps you to choose the right pen for your hand. Okay, I believe this information was helpful. These writing instruments are all equally good. Every single one has a great writing feel to it, size and shape. All the information I have given hopefully helps you to write the right uh, sailor pen for you. When you... Um, try to buy another one to add to your collection. Some of the people who already have cellar pens, they already know how it, how it feels, how it writes. But people who might not have a cellar writing instruments with the information I have given might help to select or choose the right one for you. So if you like this video, 
please subscribe below and hit that reply button and let me know how I am doing and how I can improve myself or if there's any other information you want to add it and let me know please reply and hit hit that and put uh, put that comments below thank you so very much for uh, for watching and I will see you in my next video until then have a great rest of the weekend if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe and if you do love pens inks stationery and also wanted to be updated with all new happenings in pen world we can be found in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Addresses are below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.